what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Earl Spence, Floyd Mayweather, bidding war for Pacquiao fight. There's a lot of news going on, man. You know, I'm downtown right now, just chilling out. Some bored, bored. Just wanted to shoot a video real quick. You know, it's a lot of news out right now surrounding Pacquiao, you know. And uh, Spence and Floyd, and you know, whether Pacquiao's next fight is going to be Spence or is it going to be Floyd. A lot of people saying Pacquiao's ducking Spence because he didn't put him on the on the poll on Twitter or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're already in negotiation with Spence, I guess there ain't really no need to even put him on that poll, you know. Uh, I would put people on that poll who uh, who uh, I, I, I kind of considered as not ducking, but uh, kind of like avoiding the Pacquiao fight. So uh, the number one name on that list, of course, is going to be Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Pacquiao is definitely fighting in June or July, so I'm not really sure who it's going to be at this point. Uh, you know, the, it's more money surrounding the Floyd fight than the Spence fight. But I think more fans want to see the Spence fight than want to see the Floyd fight. Uh, these guys at PBC, man, they should really be thanking Pacquiao right now, man, for, for uh, making them relevant, for making, you know, for building their careers, for passing the torch, however you want to call it. Uh, it all this is thanks to Pacquiao and his name, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, the numbers... They weren't, they weren't there until Pacquiao came to P PBC. You know, these guys were all fighting on free TV, fighting each other. So uh, Pacquiao, Pacquiao brought the worldwide audience to PBC Boxing. So these guys should really be thanking Pacquiao right now. Uh, who would I put my money on as the next fight? <laughs> all right, man, that's, that's worse than buying a lottery ticket right now. Uh, but if I gave a personal prediction, I would say he's going to fight both of them. I would say both of those fights are going to happen. Somehow it's going to get worked out. Uh, barring a loss, uh, and depending on how bad the loss is, uh, I think if he fought Earl Spence first and lost, but not but didn't lose bad, uh, Floyd Mayweather would still want a shot at Pacquiao. Or he would either be trying to fish a fight with Spence to see if he could uh, somehow get another victory on his belt. Uh, my personal opinion. If you don't like it, well, just get out of here. You know, I just wanted to drop in. We're still downtown, man. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Check out the bell for a second. The only working steamboat left in existence. And they still race this thing. This is crazy, so. But, uh, who's going to be the next fight for Floyd Mayweather, man? I mean, for Manny Pacquiao, my bad. <laughs> Who's going to be the next fight for Manny Pacquiao? Is it going to be Floyd Mayweather? Is it going to be Earl Spence? Uh, is it going to be somebody we ain't heard of yet? You know, there's still a few other fighters. Thurman, Sean Porter. Everybody wants a piece of Pacquiao right now. And, you know, the bidding war is strong. You know, Pacquiao, it's, it's crazy. How everybody says his career is dead. And everybody says, it's, you know, he, you know he's punks drunk or whatever. Uh, he's uh, he's easily knocked out because of the Marquez incident, but uh, now everybody wants a piece of him, you know, whether it's just to make some quick money or, or, or is it because he's is the best fighter out there right now at 147. Uh, I'll let y'all decide down in the comment section, man. And we're just finishing up this topic of the bidding war with uh, Earl Spence, Floyd Mayweather, and Manny Pacquiao, man. We're making some chicken. You feel me? Go make some uh, buffalo style. Not buffalo style, but uh, uh, how would you say it? Some buffalo wild wings style chicken wings, man. I'm going to put some. I'm going to make a sauce for it and put it on it. You know, that's what it looks like for now. I'll show you it when it's done. And then we'll get this over with, man, and eat some chicken. Alright y'all, make me a quick little sauce and then we're gonna get finish this up man. Finish this little top. Some hot sauce here. Yeah. Just a little bit. Some honey. Some orange juice in that thing. And a 
course a little Caribbean barbecue sauce finishing on off I'll let y'all see the finished product here in just a second all right we got our sauce done wings done and we're gonna sauce the wings up here real quick and we're gonna talk about some box set My lighting's horrible in here, so, you know, bear with me. It is what it is. I got wings in there, got the sauce. Stir it up again. Ah, I wish you could smell it. Oh, it's awesome. Added some uh, spices to it off camera. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Alright y'all, I'll show y'all the finished product here. Hold on. There you have it. Finished product. Let's talk about some boxing. Alright y'all, so we finished the chicken. Looking pretty good. But uh, when you think about this bidding war that's going on between uh, Spence Jr., and Mayweather Jr. for the Pacquiao fight at the moment. Uh, the biggest winner to me in all this is Manny Pacquiao, man. You know, for all that's been said about the man, you know, being knocked out. For all that's been said about him uh, losing to Mayweather. For all that's been said about him uh, not having a shoulder injury during the Mayweather match. For all the, the Jeff Horn comments. For all the, you know... The ducking comments, ducking this person, ducking that person. When you think about it, man, the most popular man in boxing is Manny Pacquiao. You know, uh, a lot of these uh, boxing analysts on YouTube, you know, th their claim to fame is dissing Manny Pacquiao. You know, a lot of guys uh, wouldn't be relevant if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, they can pander to a certain crowd and, you know, diss certain fighters. Uh, but when you tell the truth and you just look at the whole situation, and uh, I just feel like, you know, the biggest winner at the end of the day is going to be Pacquiao, whether you like it or not. You know, his legacy is going is gonna to reign supreme over a lot of fighters for the fact that he, he didn't duck anybody, for the fact that he, he, um, he took every great fight that he could take when he could take it you know he didn't always get them at the right time but he got them when he could take them and he fought he fought the best fight that he could win or lose you know that's one thing I can say about Manny Pacquiao and that he always says you know I did my best you know I tried win or lose you know just thank God for the opportunity to even you know be in this position man you know a lot of people are uh you know they they uh they overstep their bounds with with uh some of the stuff that they do they overstep their bounds uh when when thinking about and talking about boxing because at the end of the day these are just people you know what I'm saying I don't look at Pacquiao as no superman never have never will I just look at him as the most talented boxer in the game today all around you know when you look at the rest of these guys, I feel like they have skill sets in in one. They have one skill set to hang their hat on, and Pacquiao has multiple skill sets. And not only does he have multiple skill sets, he has a global audience, and there's something that none of these other fighters can achieve. And to me, it's 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 because they're so hung up on pleasing the African-American community and the African-American fans that they alienate the other portions of the world who might want to be their fans because, you know, they only want to push one type of culture. I ain't here to push no culture. I'm not here to push nothing but what I like. You know what I'm saying? This is what I like to do, man. So if you don't like it, you got to get at it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'm almost done with the... Chicken. 
but uh just want to make one last point man uh you know the biggest loser in all this could potentially be Earl Spence you know uh a Pacquiao fight could really send his name into the stratosphere of boxing and uh really make him a global superstar as far as in the boxing world and to pass that up you know, could be a, a serious mistake for Earl Spence because when you look at what happened, what's happening to Terrence Crawford right now, he's kind of being shut out of the world of boxing, uh, not because of his own fault, but because he's he's with top rank, and he he personally passed up on a uh, potential Manny Pacquiao fight, which could have really made him uh, and put him to the next level in the boxing world if he he was able to take that fight. But, you know, instead we got the Terrence Crawford-Jeff Horn fight, which was horrible. And uh, Terrence Crawford is now, he can claim he's the best welterweight, but you haven't fought anybody from PBC. You haven't fought Pacquiao. You haven't fought uh, Mayweather. You know, the, the biggest names that are out there, you haven't fought them yet. Your next opponent is Amir Khan. And, you know, Khan at best is, you know, a gatekeeper, what they call a gatekeeper. I, I don't call him a gatekeeper. I just call it, say, you know, he, he he's a fighter of the last generation that uh, is kind of like irrelevant now. You know, his his name still has fans, still a a good boxer, but as far as selling tickets and you kind of irrelevant in the boxing world. So you know, the 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 guy who could lose out here the most. Is potentially Earl Spence if he if he if he passes up on this opportunity to fight Pacquiao. I know everybody's saying Pacquiao's ducking him because he didn't add him to the poll or whatever. But you know the the whole poll, it, you shouldn't even add Earl Spence onto that poll. Like I said earlier, because we already know they're in negotiations whether Pacquiao accepts or declines or whether Earl accepts or declines. You know I don't think he sh his name should even be on that poll. It should be fighters who uh, he, he's not already in negotiation with, i.e. The, the Mayweathers, even though there's supposedly some negotiation going on uh, in the background with Mayweather. But the Mayweathers, you know, the... Uh, and tell you the truth, there's nobody else out there except for Crawford. Uh, maybe they, people want to see him fight Lomachenko. Uh, there's a new guy, I can't remember his name uh, right off the bat, but I saw him fight the other day. Uh, and he would be a great opponent for Manny Pacquiao. If I think of his name, I'll try to add it in the comment section or something. But And the biggest winner in all this, which is strange, could be Floyd Mayweather. You know, coming out of nowhere. And with Manny Pacquiao's name re-emerging as, as, you know, the biggest name in boxing. And Mayweather getting that fight over Earl Spence. <laughs> what does that do, you know, to the whole dynamic of... Does Spence still become a global superstar? You know, do the rest of these PBC guys become superstars because they didn't get to fight Pacquiao? Perhaps Pacquiao fights Mayweather and retires. You no, know, uh, there's a lot of dynamics at play here. So I'm going to kind of leave it there, man. That like button for me. And please subscribe. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And if you want a piece of this chicken, <laughs> let me know what y'all think about the recipe, too, man. This is a. Uh, Ali Lamb Boxing Talk, man. If you know any homeless people, man, one minute of your life and some leftovers can really save a life, man. It can help somebody. So give up a minute, you know. Help your fellow man. Uh, if you want that recipe, bro, hit me up, man. You know, I'll throw it to you or whatever. And uh, for all the haters, how you guys doing, man? Hey, hey thanks for hitting the button. <laughs> and we out of here.